All right, everybody, this is Andrew, also known as Nature Man. In today's video, we're going to be talking about evergreen shrubs that are hardy to USDA Zone 5. Uh, I'm going to give a list of my most favorite. Now, there are plenty of other uh, evergreen shrubs that will grow in Zone 5, but these are just my top favorite. Um, a few of them might be borderline Zone 5, like the Cryptomeria, uh, but otherwise, they're all hardy here to Zone 5. USDA Zone 5, that's uh, minimum and average... Your average coldest temperature that you can receive is negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, yep. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And here are my favorites. This favorite is a slow mound mugo pine, known to be the smallest mugo pine on the market. Staying super compact. Growing four foot tall, six foot wide in maturity, hardy down to 50 below zero. But in actuality, you'd probably stay three to four feet for many, many years. In the first 10 years, you can only expect them to get three to four feet. A truly compact mugo pine for small spaces. This one here is a Karsten's Winter Gold Mugo Pine. This form only matures to about three to four foot tall and wide. It is a deep golden yellow in the winter and then turns lime green in the summer. That there is more likely its color during the summer months. This is remaining of its winter color, but it is a deep, deep yellow, much deeper yellow than this. In the winter time, you can see the new growth coming up. Um, so definitely a dwarf evergreen you could put in tight areas that will provide great winter color, more than just green. My next favorite is a blue star juniper. This low growing shrub will fit even in the tiniest of spaces, maturing to only two foot tall, three foot wide. Has a deep blue needle all year round. If you look directly up from it, they kind of look like a star. That's how it gets the name. The very tip point here looks like a star. Maturing only two foot tall, three foot wide. Very easy to grow. Next favorite here is Sea of Gold Juniper. This one's grown by Monrovia, though some other brands might grow it. It is a low growing, but still shrubby. It's not a ground cover. It'll get about two to three foot tall by four to six foot wide. So definitely like a low spreader. And they call it Sea of Gold because it just kind of flows and waves because it's not like a true ground cover. It still is up a little bit. So they call it Sea of Gold and it stays this deep golden yellow all year round, full sun and summer and winter. That's why I absolutely love it. So it's good if you want kind of lower spreading but not a ground cover and it's golden yellow. Dobbs Frosted Juniper matures to only about a foot tall by five foot wide. So it is kind of like a ground cover though it does get a little taller than some other ground cover junipers. Uh, the new growth comes out bright golden yellow and it contrasts the darker green on the older growth like second and third year growth. Absolutely stunning landscaping shrub for full sun only. Gray Owl Juniper has a deep silvery blue foliage, some very, very soft to the touch. Um, it'll grow about three to four foot tall by uh, six to eight foot wide, so it's kind of a spreader. It's not a ground cover, um, but it, it does get very wide, so it's good for an area if you have a big space you want it to fill in. A deep silvery blue color for full sun. And right here is a Densiformis U, one of the most common U's in landscaping. Um, and unlike the older varieties, they get very huge. This will only mature to four by six at maturity. So you can put it under windows and keep it trimmed as a box. It goes in full sun to dense shade. This plant is an emerald spreader U. It grows only about two foot tall by eight to 10 foot wide. So this is almost a true ground cover. You can put it in areas where height is an issue, but width is not. So this is a great low growing U. Um, it's very vigorous like all the other U's except it only grows wide. It will never grow tall. Two to three foot tall max. I highly doubt it'll even reach three feet. But yeah, two by 10 is really what they are. And U's can grow in full sun all the way to dense shade. So they're a great option for a shady site. They'll grow in pretty much any soil, even poor ones, except they will not tolerate wet soil. The Emerald Spreader U. This one is the Dwarf Bright Gold U. The new foliage emerges a bright golden yellow, contrasting the dark green on the older growth. Uh, gold color is only in full sun. Despite U's being able to grow in full shade, this will only be golden yellow in full sun. So make sure you provide at least six hours of sun for the new spring growth to emerge yellow and it will stay yellow all summer long. It's only the oldest like second and third year growth that turns green. But the new growth stays yellow all summer long. This is actually gets very wide. This will get about six foot tall by 10 to 12 foot wide. So you need a lot of room to grow it. And they do take well to heavy, heavy trimming. My favorite one is green velvet boxwood. These mature at about three to four foot tall and wide. 
uh, broadleaf evergreen and this variety is uh, most resistant to winter burn so they'll usually take up to winters and they'll go down to 15 20 below zero without winter burn um, though it is always a good idea to protect them from direct winter winds but these are some of the hardiest of the boxwoods they naturally stay rounded they only need pruning to control their size not their shape they naturally stay rounded though it is good to give them a light pruning once a year otherwise they're fairly maintenance free full sun to mostly shade my next favorite here is the variegated boxwood. Unlike boxwoods that are just green all year, this has variegation, like kind of a bright yellowish white um, striping on the leaves, adds color year round. And as many of you know, boxwoods are evergreen through zone five and even into zone four in protected sites. Um, the variegated uh, boxwood will get a pretty substantial size, up to at least eight foot tall and wide though you can keep them sheared and keep them pruned down to four by four an absolutely spectacular specimen great for full sun all the way to shade this one right here is the royal family holly it is a blue holly um, as many of you know hollies are dioecious so only the females produce the red berries and they require a male pollinator in order for the females to produce red berries so a lot of garden centers will sell them separately. The Blue Prince, which is the male, and the Blue Princess, which is the female. We could get this the royal family. So there's a Blue Prince and a Blue Princess in the same pot. So if you get one shrub, it can still pollinate. That's what the royal family is. Combination of Blue Prince, Blue Princess. And it's a Blue Holly, hardy to zone 4, uh, about minus 30 degrees Fahrenheit, or zone 5. Though I have seen them grow in zone 4. 8 to 10 by 6 to 8. You can easily keep them 4 by 4 with pruning. A broadleaf evergreen with the beautiful red berries you can enjoy around the holidays. This one is the Whipcord Arborvitae. It matures to about 4x4 four four maturity, though it may get slightly bigger over time, so it is a good idea to keep a light trimming. Um, but it has this almost extraterrestrial plant look. It looks like a weeping willow, but it's an evergreen shrub. It's a Frankie Boy Oriental Arborvitae. Slowly matures to about 5 to 6 foot tall by 4 to 5 foot wide, though you can keep them sheer to keep them 4x4 four four with pruning. Full sun for the golden yellow color. Um, starts off golden yellow and fades to a lime green. Great contrast and almost like a up, up as an erect whip cord. Instead of just drooping down, they're erect foliage. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. Um, they are marked zone 5, minus 10 and minus 20, though they do winter burn in harsh zone 5 winters. So zone 5, it has to be in a protected spot from winter wind, though you are free to plant anywhere in zone 6 and warmer. Hetz Midget Arborvitae, that's H-E-T-Z Midget Arborvitae. Matures to only three to four foot tall and wide, naturally stays rounded, but you can give it a light trimming once a year to maintain its size. As like with any plant, it may get bigger than that over a long period of time. But absolutely gorgeous as a dwarf arborvitae shrub. I would think, yes, it'll get bigger than three by three. I would say more realistically, four by four after 20 years. So a great dwarf arborvitae. Bowling ball arborvitae is one of my favorites. Um, it naturally stays about four to five foot tall and wide, though it may get bigger with time, so it is a good idea to keep trimming them. A light trimming once a year will never hurt. Um, absolutely gorgeous, rounded, soft evergreen for full sun to part shade. Golden Globe Arborvitae stays rounded, matures to about four to five foot tall and wide, though you can keep them sheared to whatever desirable size you want, even three by three. Uh, full sun is best. If you put them in shade, uh, they will revert green. So, as is the case with any variegated sun-loving plant, typically they revert if you put them in shade. Uh, deep golden yellow color, naturally stays rounded, though do trim them to control their size. Gold mop only matures to about four by four at maturity. Bigger if you don't prune it, but they're very easy to keep three by three with trimming. It's a bright golden yellow all winter, does not burn in the winter and does not fade in the full sun. Absolutely lovely. Very, very, very popular. It's actually a classic, uh, favorite in most landscapes. All right, and this is a dwarf Japanese cedar, also known as Cryptomeria japonica. This is a beautiful dwarf evergreen. It looks prickly, but it's actually very soft foliage. Um, and unlike other evergreens, this is not fully hardy through zone 5. It is fully hardy through zone 6a, so about minus 5 to minus 10 below zero. Um, but when if you have winters that get down to minus 10 or colder, aka zone 5, it's good to side it in a protected site out of the line of direct winter wind for the best for the best chance of survival. Typically gets about three by four at maturity, perhaps a little bit more with age, and rarely requires any pruning to maintain their size. Full sun to part shade. These right here are a dwarf Serbian spruce called the Kamenz Serbian spruce. 
Um, they slowly matured about two by three to four feet. Um, the undersides are a deep silvery blue and the upsides are a green. A beautiful mound, low growing shrub for full sun. Another really popular one is the Glow Blue Spruce. Growing only about three to five inches a year, very slow grower. However, after a long period of time, about 20 to 30 years, it will get about six to eight foot tall and wide, if not a little bit bigger. So a lot of people put these really close to foundations or in small gardens, and in 20 years, they outgrow it. So make sure if you do plant these, you have enough space for them, because they do not stay small forever. But they have a deep blue color, very hardy in zones two to seven. Uh, requires at least full sun, so a minimum of six hours of afternoon sun is preferable. The Glow Blue Spruce.